For this guided visualization, it would be advisable to lie down, legs slightly apart, arms a little away from the body. You can sit in a chair if this is easier and more comfortable, for whatever reason. Close your eyes, then allow your body to sink into the ground or chair in any way it wants to, and do not consciously hold any part of your body rigid or stiff. The secret is in total freedom and letting go. Relax. Walk with me now to ancient Greece, to a land of gods, plants, animals, magic, and your inner self. We begin our journey now. You are standing on the shore at Crisa, Greece. Beside you is the Gulf of Corinth with the gentle water lapping by your feet. Inhale a deep breath of seaweed in the air. If you do not like this smell, accept it, for it is natural. Above is the sun, a light orange ball of power and energy. Its warmth sustains growth, health, life and you. Feel its warm rays as they shimmer on waves out in the bay, where, if you look closely, you will see a school of dolphins leap out of the water. They are your friends. They brought you here. Ahead of you is the coastal plain covered with groves, and beyond them, the mountains, 8,000 feet high with their snow-capped peaks. Take two steps forward. You are now standing on a path. This path will take you onwards and upwards into the mountains to your destination. Begin walking. Hear each step crunching the dusty path beneath your feet. You are now entering a citrus grove. Lemon trees on the left, oranges on the right. Pause and reach out your right hand and feel the roundness of an orange. Release the orange and allow it the freedom to grow from its branch. Then move on along the path. The path now approaches an outcrop of rocks leading into the foothills. Each step you now take leads you higher and higher up the hill. The citrus grove is well behind you, but ahead lies an olive grove its trees twisted and bent by the breeze. As you enter the olive grove, you hear the mountain goats somewhere above, hiding in the rocky crags, their bells echoing in the wind. Suddenly, a piece of ground near your feet becomes alive as a small lizard scurries past and disappears into a crack in the rocks. Whilst you are walking and gently climbing the boulder-strewn path up the hillside, I want you to think of a pleasant experience. Then, think of some tasks you would like to achieve. Visualise these thoughts for a few moments. Now allow them to fade into your subconscious mind as you continue on your way. The upward incline of the path suddenly levels off and through the trees bordering the path you see a massive precipice, the very face of the mountain beyond. Stop here and observe the view. You are now 2,000 feet high with the fertile grove-covered valley of Pleistos and the coastal hills stretching down and across on one side, whilst on the other side are the steep cliffs of the Fedriades rising above. Here lies the divine sanctuary of Delphi and the temple of Apollo. 
walk past the entrance to the sanctuary, which is lined with larch, spruce, and cypress trees, and the Pittosporum tobira shrubs with its sweet, citrus-smelling cluster of small white flowers. Inhale the scent of these flowers. Exhale and relax. Walk onwards beyond these shrubs, past the entrance to the sanctuary. To your left you will see another entrance to a small rocky path enshrouded by more trees. Take this path. The path is rough and slippery in places where it mingles with a stream. Care is required with every step here, as the path is more a series of stepping stones. A gap in the trees suddenly reveals the source of the stream. It is a rocky pool of cool flowing energy lying at the base of the mighty precipice. This is the Castalian Spring with its therapeutic waters. Slowly walk into the pool and allow its rippling flow to caress and heal your weary form. Let your body float for a few moments with water lapping around your gently floating form. Its subtle power energizing and cleansing your body. Be in tune with this fluid energy. You and the water are one. You are in harmony with nature. Become aware of your body and senses again, slowly rising from the spring. Take a deep breath. Feel the essence of the forest nearby. Breathe out. Relax. Walk back through the pine-filled woods along a different path, winding your way past individual trees. You arrive back at the entrance to the sanctuary. Walk through the pillared opening and along the sacred way, bordered by various stone treasuries. Soaring and circling above us are two buzzards, reminding us of the eagles of Zeus, where they met was known as the centre of the earth here at Delphi, marked by the navel stone, or omphalos. Stand before the omphalos, a conical, almost rounded rock, which on our journey symbolises the solar plexus chakra, the centre of your being. Breathe in a deep breath of ethereal energy. Let go and relax. Feel yourself centred, then grounded. Now continue on your way beyond the omphalos and along the paved sacred way. Approach a stone stairway and climb up and quietly count each step as you go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Straight ahead of you stands the Temple of Apollo, masked by a border of majestic pillars. Many centuries ago, 
Apollo and his twin sister Artemis came here with the dolphins from Crete. Centuries later, Apollo became known as the god of music and healing. Walk towards the temple. Every step takes you closer and the pillars appear larger and taller now. Enter the semi-dark inner sanctum lit by flame torches. Once inside this rectangular room, consciously observe your breath. On every in-breath, you hear Apollo whisper near your right ear the word quiet. On every out-breath, you hear Artemis whisper near your left ear the word relax. Now, on every out-breath, when you imagine hearing the word relax, I want you to actually relax different parts of your body and try to let go of any tension that you feel. Continue this practice for the moment. I'll, I'll start, start you on your way. way. Focus awareness on your body again and walk out of the torchlit chamber of the temple. It is twilight outside and the sun has been replaced by the rising moon which casts a silver sheen over the valley below. Walk away from the temple and up a gentle incline towards the semicircular amphitheatre. 
basking on the dry earth nearby, in the evening warmth, is a green snake. It is harmless, for if you feel fear now, it is the fear within yourself. Do not be afraid, and walk in a non-threatening manner past the snake, along the path, and enter the theatre. Walk up the stone stepped seats and choose a row to sit in. Sit here and observe the scene around you in the semi-darkness. Sloping down below, just ahead of you, is the Temple of Apollo. Further away in the middle distance to your left is the Temple of Athena. When it is calm and still on moonlit evenings, you'll hear her little owls of wisdom. It is slightly cooler now, with a breeze whispering around you. Somewhere nearby, you hear Apollo's lyre playing, and you know that you have arrived at a place where dreams are possible. Linger here for a while and listen to the voice within. Then listen to the sounds of nature and the cosmos of which you are a part of, Harmonize with all around. Apollo's bell signals the end of the journey. Slowly focus on your actual physical body now, gently moving your fingers, then your toes or any extremities that you have. Then slowly open your eyes and when you are ready, Rise from your relaxation posture. Listen to your inner voice, be it positive and happy, without living in fear. And may your dreams and wishes come true.